nasopharyngeal airway. And just as the name suggests, it goes from the nasal angle down through the pharynx and again bypasses the tongue and other obstructive potential. Showing this on this anatomical structure here, so it will go from a higher angle and again it will bypass the tongue and any pharyngeal obstructions to try and provide a passage of air down into the trachea. And just from that, you can probably see logically how this is going to fit. So just like the Goodell, I'm going to size it from the nose, the opening of the nose, down towards the angle. So that's probably a little bit small. So what I want to do is get the right size there. And that's probably correct. Again, the nasal opening down to the angle of the jaw. The nose has certain obstructions in itself. It's got turbinates and it's very prone to epistaxis and bleeding. So what I often do is I put a cofenyl cane spray, which is a vasoconstrictor, as well as local anesthetic. And that just means that it'll be tolerated if the patient is a bit more awake. Do a couple of sprays of cofenyl cane in the nostril that I think I'm going to use. That's what I do before I insert this.